Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Battery Shop. The battery in this 2013 Cadillac CTS is located right here in the back of the trunk. It's pretty easy to get to, but it's always a good idea that you check with your manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions. That way you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace a battery in a vehicle like this. Let's get started. The first step is to remove the access panel for the battery. With gloves and safety glasses on, the next step is to loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for this. And then remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal and set it off to the side. Next, remove the cover for the positive battery cable. And rotate the lever counterclockwise and then remove the positive battery cable from the battery's positive terminal. We recommend wrapping it in a shop towel to prevent it from touching any metal on the vehicle and set it off to the side. The next step is to remove the fasteners for the battery's hold down brackets. You'll need a 13 millimeter wrench for this. Then remove the hold down brackets and fasteners. Now we can remove and position the battery in a way that you can access the vent tube. Remove the vent tube by rotating side to side and pulling out until it releases. Install the vent plug in the side of the battery opposite the vent tube. The vent plug should come with your battery. Lightly tap the vent plug if you can't seat it by hand. Now we can reinstall the vent tube into the side of the battery. Before reinstalling the battery, it's a good idea to clean up any corrosion on your battery terminals. Now we're ready to reposition the battery in the sidewell. Next, reinstall the battery hold down brackets and tighten the fasteners. Now we're ready to reinstall the positive battery cable onto the battery's positive terminal. Use a wire brush to clean off any corrosion on the cable before installing it. But don't pound these clamps on as that can cause internal battery damage. Rotate the lever clockwise to tighten the clamp and then replace the cable cover. Then reinstall the negative battery cable onto the battery's negative terminal, again using a wire brush to clean the clamp before reinstalling it. And tighten the fastener. Finally, reinstall the access panel, and we're done.